Okay, Arjun, let's go with a snap interview for CSL. The date of interview is 28th of February, and today we are going with environmental engineering. Okay. So, first of all, Arjun, very basic question. Uh, please tell me what is the role of an environment engineer? The role of an environmental engineer will be, uh, as we know that uh, because of the green uh, greenhouse gases and all, uh, our uh, environment is actually uh, is losing its balance. Like uh, there are many uh, related uh, impacts are uh, happening in, around the world. So as an environmental uh, engineer, we should uh, mm -hmm. we should create an environment for uh, for uh, living a sustainable sustainable. We, we have to create a sustainable environment for education. Okay. What is sustainable environment? Uh, without uh, so. In sustainable environment, we have to uh, make the environment without uh, uh, over utilizing the resources that we have. Uh, we have to uh, utilize it in a uh, uniform manner so that it can uh, last for the future generations also. Okay. 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 Can you explain me what is water supply scheme? So water supply scheme, uh, through water supply scheme, basically our aim is to uh, supply enough water for everyone. Very interesting. No, uh, just uh, tell me from the starting. Just say, for example, you have a city which has approximately two lakh, three lakh uh, people residents uh, residing over there. As an environment engineer, aapko unko, you have to provide them drinking water or for uh, water for any purpose. Okay. Okay. Now, what should be your first step? You are given with the task like there are uh, two lakh people living in an area. Okay. You need to give them drinking water. Okay. Okay. Yes. Sir. As an environmental engineer, what will be your step one to step ten? Last step. Kya karenge? Kaise karenge? Actually, right now we know the uh, total population of that area, so we can uh, calculate how much uh, demand it will uh, generate, how much water it will uh, require in in a day. So it is actually the basic step uh, is finding out the uh, uh, requirement. Then uh, once we know about the uh, requirement, then mm -hmm. we accordingly uh, design our uh, treatment plan. Now uh, another thing that we have to look into this is uh, uh, water resources. Like if a, if the city is uh, having uh, uh, if a, a river or a, a pure water mm -hmm. source is uh, near to this city, we can mm -hmm. directly take it from there. Or else, uh, if uh, every uh, individual can. Uh, dig a well in their locality, mm -hmm. then we have to uh, plan for the city because water is already available there. But uh, in the rest case, if it, if it is a flat or something like that, then we may have to uh, take water from some other place. And uh, so another uh, another step will be this uh, location of resources, sources, sources of water. Then uh, we have to test the uh, water, like uh, whether the uh, water available is uh, fit for drinking or not and based on that uh, testing and all we need to design a uh, if, a, if, it, if it is uh, required a treating a treatment then we have to design the uh, treatment mm -hmm. unit also accordingly and then uh, once we uh, uh, once we uh, uh, constructed these uh, uh, treatment facilities and all then uh, i i mean the another step will be the construction of these uh, facilities like uh, we have to uh, uh, Construct the different uh, units for the treatment. We mm -hmm. need to set uh, the water uh, pumping stations, pumping lines, etc., mm -hmm. so that uh, the individual can access the water. And uh, so, like this way, we can uh, arrange Very water. Correct, correct. Good, good, good. Very good, Arjun. Asha, tell me uh, the total water supply scheme that you have told me, which will be the costliest part, most expensive part? I think the construction of these units will be expensive part. Okay, construction of units will be expensive. Yes. Okay. Acha, tell me, uh, like if we talk about water quality parameters. Okay. So can you tell me what is the pH, uh, sorry, what is the permissible level for alkalinity? Uh, alkalinity is 8.5. Alkalinity के लिए permissible level is 8.5. You are talking about pH or alkalinity? pH sir. 
So I am talking about alkalinity. What is the permissible level for alkalinity? Okay, let's say it is two hundred milligrams per liter. Okay. Okay. What is the cause of rejection for alkalinity? Okay, it is six hundred milligram per liter. Anyway, it was not the question. Permissible level. Just you just note it down. Permissible level for alkalinity is two hundred milligrams per liter. Cause of rejection for alkalinity is six hundred milligrams per liter. Yes, sir. Okay. What what do we actually mean by permissible level and cause of rejection here? क्या मतलब है? Why we are defining two different levels? Uh, permissible level means up to this level we can provide uh, water. This water is fit for uh, use. But uh, cause of rejection means uh, if it is reaching that level means uh, we cannot utilize it for the any purpose. Okay. अच्छा. What if the level for alkalinity? Okay, you have found a water source. And the alkalinity in that water source is 400 milligrams per liter, in between permissible and cause of rejection. Okay. Then what do you expect? What can be uh, conclusion can be given? Uh, we can uh, suggest some of the treatment method to reduce the alkalinity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Tell me what is the impact of heavy metals in drinking water? Heavy metals. Uh, I mean, many heavy metals. They will uh, pose some of the toxic uh, substances. Uh, some of them are uh, carcinogenic. They might pose can cancer and all. And also, ions like uh, if ion ions like uh, ions are present, then it will pose corrosion also. Okay. What is bioaccumulation? Bioaccumulation. Mm hmm. I think sir, it is the accumulation of organic matter. I'm not sure. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, कोई बात नहीं. अच्छा मुझे बताएं अर्जुन, what do you mean by pH? pH को हम कैसे कैलकुलेट करते हैं? Uh, pH we have uh, litmus paper. Mm -hmm. And? And numerically, numerically how do we calculate? Formula क्या होता है pH का? Negative logarithm of Uh, ion concentration. Okay, correct. Very good. pH equal to negative log of H plus ion. Very good. Yes. Correct. Okay. I want to ask you this. What is the uh, unit of H plus? Uh, mole per liter. Moles per liter. Very good. अगर आपको दिया है 10 to the power minus 3 molar HCl solution. Okay. okay. 10 to the power minus 3 molar HCl solution. What will be its pH? Uh, it's three. Three, correct. Very good. pH will be equal to three. Okay. Suppose that, and also you know that if the pH is less than seven, then it will be acid. Yes. Hana. Huh? Suppose yes. that you are given ten to the power minus six molar HCl solution. Okay. So what will be its pH? Six. Now, if I ask you, if you have ten to the power minus eight molar HCl solution, okay. what will be its pH? Eight. But it is an acid. pH eight. cannot be greater than seven. Yes. Got the question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why is that different? ओके अर्जुन ठीक है एनीवे सो ऑल राइट लेट मी जस्ट कैन यू सी माय स्क्रीन यस सर अच्छा देखो आई हैव आस्क यू दिस फोर इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस ओके रोल ऑफ एनवायरमेंट इंजीनियर ओके फर्स्ट थिंग व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट रोल ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल इंजीनियर यू नीड योर आंसर वाज Correct. It was not wrong, but you could have given a more better answer. Like the role of an environment engineer primarily is to provide safe drinking water, to create sewage disposal, sewage treatment facilities, okay. to take care of the solid waste that is being generated, 
also to some extent if if it can contribute to air pollution okay okay because air pollution is a global problem not yes. any 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 individual can help it but yes to some extent we can help so that is the role of an environment engineer sustainable environment you told me correct water supply scheme was also correct most expensive part i asked you the most expensive parts are not treatment unit they are the pipelines okay. these okay. are the most expensive parts most okay. costliest part pipelines if they become corroded or incrusted then it is a big loss okay 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 then i asked you for water quality parameters if you have uh, alkalinity permissible limit is 200 cause of ejection is 600 yes. now basically the meaning of permissible limit is if you find a source in which the level of alkalinity is let's say 100 so you can just directly provide it for drinking no treatment is required okay yes. permissible limit means if if the concentration is under 200 you do not require any sort of treatment you can directly give it for the drink for drinking purpose or for any purpose okay. but if it is greater than 200 greater than 200 and less than cause of rejection in between these two then also we can do treatment suppose that it is 400 mg per liter treatment can be done okay okay for economically and then it can be brought down to levels of 200 permissible and then it can be given for treatment okay third is if the concentration is let's say 800 mg per liter okay okay 800 it is more than cause of rejection yeah. then then also treatment can be done and it can be brought to levels of 200 mg per liter that is possible but the only problem is the water will become expensive okay. treatment will become expensive so to avoid the extra cost what we do we actually reject this source okay that is why it is called cause of rejection okay. okay treatment can be done it is not that you cannot do treatment treatment can be done but it's just that it will become expensive and cost okay if people residing over there can afford this then yes it can be done okay next is heavy metals in drinking water your answer was correct then related to this only i asked you what is bioaccumulation what i mean by bioaccumulation is suppose that you are drinking water in which there is mercury present or maybe let's say lead these are all heavy metals no group d metals elements yes. these are all heavy metals so what happens is since you are taking let's say mercury hg mercury is something which you cannot digest on your own okay human metabolism cannot digest mercury or, or sort of any other heavy metal so what will happen it accumulates in our body okay okay it accumulates in our body that is called bioaccumulation and when it becomes so large na it takes the form of appendix okay okay unwanted tissues in our body okay lastly i asked you related to this if ph is negative log of h plus ion 10 to the power minus 3 molar hcl ph is 3 10 to the power minus 6 molar hcl ph is 6 10 to the power minus 8 molar hcl is present ph will not be equal to 8 why because when we are talking about ph this h plus ion this h plus ion comes from two things first is acid and from water okay okay if you are given 10 to the power minus 3 molar hcl in 10 to the power minus 3 molar hcl this acid will give 10 to the power minus 3 molar h plus and water will give 10 to the power minus 7 molar h plus okay but you can see that 10 to the power minus 3 is way more than 10 to the power minus 7 so we can actually neglect this part so directly your ph comes out to be 10 to the power minus 3 eventually ph will be equal to negative log of 10 to the power minus 3 plus 10 to the power minus 7 okay but here you can neglect this 10 to the power minus 7 it is approximately equal to 0 only Okay. अगर आपको दिया है टेन टू दावर माइनस सिक्स मोलर एच सी एल ओके तो इस केस में योर पी एच विल बी नेगेटिव लॉग ऑफ टेन टू दावर माइनस सिक्स प्लस टेन टू दावर माइनस सेवन नाउ दिस टेन टू दावर माइनस सेवन इज एक्चुअली नॉट नेग्लेक्ट नेग्लिजिबल 
है ना सो यू कैनॉट नेग्लेक्ट इट इवन दो यू सॉल्व यू विल गेट वैल्यू क्लोज टू सिक्स पॉइंट वन सिक्स पॉइंट टू यू सेट इट करेक्ट इट इज सिक्स बट वेन वी टॉक अबाउट टेन टू दी पार माइनस एट मोलर एच सी एल सो योर पी एच विल बी नेगेटिव लॉग ऑफ टेन टू दी पार माइनस एट प्लस टेन टू दी पार माइनस सेवन दिस टाइम टेन टू दी पार माइनस एट इज स्मॉलर देन टेन टू दी पार माइनस सेवन Okay, so your pH will never be greater than seven. It will come close to six point nine six. Okay. So most of your part was correct. It was correct. But I'll say with if we do slight uh, more improvement now, it, it can improve a lot. You can do a lot better than this. 